Hi everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood again today. It's Tuesday as I record this little video for our midweek devotional. And uh, the sun is shining and it's wonderful weather out there. And I hope you're able to get outside and to enjoy some of it. I want to congratulate everybody. Nova Scotia today has reached a whole week without any new COVID-19 cases. So what we're doing is working and uh, I just pray that it continues to stay away and that we all stay safe. You know, through these weeks, it's been wonderful to have a friend to walk through this time with us. And uh, we all know what it's like to have a best friend, right? Yeah, a best friend is, is someone that we, we want to spend time with. We enjoy going places and doing things with them. We feel like um, we can share anything with, with them and they will still accept us and love us. And Jesus is our best friend. And he's been our best friend through this whole ordeal and even before this ordeal happened. But you know what? He's also our king. So the two go hand in hand. He's our best friend, but he's also our king. And we can walk with him hand in hand through life. And together with Jesus, we can face whatever trials, whatever hardships, whatever pleasures, whatever adventures or disappointments that come our way. Nothing is wasted when we walk with him day by day and share our circumstances and our situations with him. He is able to bring beauty out of the most difficult and unimaginable situations in our lives. We can experience joy in times of sorrow. We can experience peace in the difficult times, in times of adversity. And you know, only a friend who is also the King of Kings can accomplish this. There's no one like Jesus. Amen? Amen. The friendship that uh, Jesus offers to each of us is very practical in, in its nature. It's down to earth, but it's also a friendship that's very heavenly. How can it be two things at the same time? Well, if we live in his presence, if we're always communing with him and talking to him and searching uh, to grow closer to him, we can experience living in two realms simultaneously. The visible world, that which we see all around us, and the unseen world that's only visible to Jesus. Eternal reality. He has this ability, this power to equip us so that if we stay conscious of him, if we're always aware that he is with us while we're walking along the, the roads of life and experiencing whatever comes our way that day, and he will be there with us and will help us. So we'll experience life down to earth and life that is um, saturated with heavenly glory. There's a passage in John chapter 15. That devotional was from Sarah Young again. John 15, 13 and 15. It says, Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command. No one longer calls you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my father 
I have made known to you. What a friend. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the earthly friends that we have. But most of all, we thank you for our friendship with you. That you are our closest friend, but that you are also our king. God, thank you for walking with us on the pathways of life. Thank you for being our friend. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me today. I pray that you have a wonderful week and uh, you walk each day hand in hand with Jesus because he is your friend. God bless.